going to be making some beef burgers today. Um, once you've made these burgers, you can put them on the barbecue, in the grill, or in you know you can do them in the frying pan. I'm going to do them on a griddle. So I'm going to make up the uh, the mixture first, and uh, and then we're going to start cooking. So I've got my bowl there. First ingredient I'm going to put in is some uh, ground up chili flakes, but you can use fresh if you want. But just make sure you finely cut it. Then I'm going to pop in some finely chopped onion, about half of an onion there. Then I've got some dried tarragon. I mean, you can use sort of fresh tarragon and break the leaves off, and that's good. Then I'm going to pop in one beaten egg. I know everybody uses these, but I'm going to put in a sort of handful of breadcrumbs. It just kind of helps bind it together a little bit, really. Then we add in the mustard. I'm using Dijon mustard. So if you're using a hotter one, then use less. Then I'm going to pop in some parmesan, actually. Um, I know it seems an unusual thing to put in there, but it actually gives it quite a nice flavour. So there's a bit of that. Then I've got a good bit of nutmeg. I'm going to put in a good portion of salt. Some pepper there as well, ground black pepper. Now I'm going to give it a quick mix, and then I'm going to put the, uh, the mince in there and give it all a good stirring. I mean, obviously these ingredients I've used, um, you don't have to put them all in, you put what you like in. But uh, it's just one of the ways I do it. So I've got that mixed up, and now I'm going to add the mince. I'm going to mix it by hand. So I'm just going to start popping in the mince. I'm using about a kilo of mince here, um, just so you know. So I'm just going to stir that and then put some more mince in as well. So, quick mix. And then I'll get some more in there. That's it. Keep on mixing that. So I'll mix that for a minute and then we'll uh, have a look at it. So I've been mixing that for a while. I've got all the flavours mixed up with the mince. So now what I'm going to do is just grab a good sized one really. And then what I'm going to do is make these into good sized burgers. So I'll just give that a quick pat, get the shape. And you've pretty much got your burger there. I'll just finish it off and then put it onto a plate of flour. And then just leave that there for a minute and do the rest. So I've got me four burgers done. I mean obviously you can make half the size burgers smaller buns and get eight or whatever you want but I mean these are good size and are going to go with the uh, the big buns I've got going to be delicious at the end now I'm just going to put a bit of cellophane over the, over those and I'm going to put them in the fridge and then I'm going to leave them for about half an hour just to kind of firm up so that when we cook them you make sure that they don't fall apart on you as a little tip I've made up a small little burger there and when you've made your mixture before you make up the big ones or whatever size you're going to make you can just try one of these in the frying pan and taste it for seasoning and that way you've got it just right so we just cook that for a few moments well, I'll say a few moments until it's sort of cooked really throughout or a little bit pinky if you like it like that now I'm just going to flip that over Ooh. that's it, give that a squash down and as soon as it's cooked we're going to try it so I'm just going to flip that for the last time that's it. Give it a squash. And really, that's almost really cooked. I mean, it is a small one, but we're going to do the big ones next. I'm going to try this first. Okay, I'm going to pop this out there. Let me try it. Mm, that's really nice. Really nice, actually. Obviously, do the seasoning, because if you do the little one, the little test first, then you know all the other ones are going to be really good. So it's quite important if you're not sure about the mixtures and things. OK, I'm going to kick, cook one of the big ones now. Now, I am just going to put a little bit of salt just on the outside there. Give it a little bit of extra seasoning. Give it a squash now. You do it on a fairly high heat. I want to turn it over occasionally and try and get it cooked. But you can see these are much bigger than the little one I just tried. But... Uh, Good sized burgers, the sort of things that impress your friends. Okay, I'm just going to flip this over. Give it a good squash down. Again, carry on cooking that for a little bit longer. I'd say probably you need to cook this for a, a good 10 minutes, you know. Depends how you like it, a little bit pinky or well done, but uh, I'm just going to carry on cooking that for a bit longer. Okay, I'm just going to flip that over again. About halfway through the cooking now, just leave that cooking away. 
Looks good though. Just gonna flip this one over again. A bit of squash. It's still together, I know it's sort of a little bit broken up there, but that's still a good burger, ready to go in a roll. I think we're just about ready with this one. If you want to see if your burger's done, especially when you've got nice big ones like this, um, you can always give it a little stab and then squeeze, and if the juice is run clear, you know it's cooked. So this is all ready to go for me anyway. Okay, I'm ready to serve up. I've got my bun there, it's quite a good sized bun actually, and I've just toasted it very lightly under the grill. So what I'm going to do is, to take out that good sized burger we got there, look at that, fill the whole bun. And now, what I'm going to do is, I, I've actually got all of these nice big tomatoes, I mean, they are big. Look at that, lovely, couple of gherkins. You can obviously add cheese if you want. Nice splodge of lettuce. And just finish it off with one of those wooden steaks. Hold it all together. Simple as that. 